That's good. Yeah. You know, just talk about the Illinois game, getting past it and moving on. Uh, I mean, treat the same as a win. It only lasts 24 hours. So when I lost, it's 24 hours, then it's on to the next uh, opponent. So pretty much we've just been preparing for our next opponent, which is UNLV that we've seen already uh, last year in the bowl game. But we know, a, we know they're a better team when they got more pieces. Well, not a returning guys, but more pieces. So just preparing for that. What do you think of their offense and how it's changed with the new quarterback? Uh, I think I definitely think it uh, open up some more for them, open up some more uh, options for them. But you know, we just uh, worrying about us doing, keeping sticking to our goal, our game plan, uh, just preparing for them, getting ready for them. How has this week of practice been like for you? You know, having to practice Sunday and then the short week leading up to UNLV. Uh, I mean, really, I mean, I feel like, like the schedule been all off since the start of the season. Really, so I mean, I'm not really, I ain't really have a set schedule yet. But, uh, I mean, it's not really bad. You know, we already knew what we had coming. So it was just about, I think the uh, loss kind of pushed the edge to turn around, have all the guys come back in and get right back ready for this upcoming week. You know, you're playing, obviously, that new kind of Cinco role, at least new for you this season. I just hype like you've been fitting in at that spot when the game has been happening. You said, how have I, how, yeah, how I, I been playing there at that spot? Uh, I just feel like, I feel like it's been, it's been real good for me, smooth for me. It's, uh, I feel like it's more, uh, it feel, it feel natural for me, and it's just like, it's just, I feel like I'm supposed to be there for real. That's pretty much all it is for it. Just feel natural for real. What do you think of how guys like Jalen Dye and Mason Ellis have been doing playing safety while you're doing that? I feel like they came along good. I mean, like we talked, like I mentioned uh, a while back in camp, uh, that them guys have come along good. They just continue to stay days. You know, we keep on getting better as a group. And, you know, me and uh, OJ, we, keep, we can continue to work with them and uh, get them right, get them ready for the games and everything. So I feel like they they doing a real good job putting everything together and coming along with the uh, defense. Did you have a favorite play from Saturday? You made a couple. Uh, favorite play? Let me see. Uh, I like the sack. Yeah, I like the sack. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite plays. <laughs> Do you think that was one of the better games you've played since you transferred to Kansas? Uh, yeah, my de most definitely. Most definitely. You said you feel natural playing that Cinco spot. But why exactly does that feel so natural for you? I don't know. I feel like a big part is uh, me being involved with linebacker like pretty much my whole life like I, it's kind of easy with the run fits and me playing safety I learned everything about the past so it's like you just putting it all together right there and like I mean everybody know I'm kind of a physical safety so it's me being right there I get the chance to be more in a box and I'm still doing I'm still in coverage too and I'm lower in coverage too which helps me get my hands on and everything since I'm longer Black jerseys, blackout. What's yeah. everybody thinking about that? Oh uh, yeah, that's my favorite jersey. So you know, I'm excited for it. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. Seems like everyone likes those jerseys. Why do you think that's a, a player's favorite? I don't know. I feel like it's just uh, it's something that Kansas haven't seen in a long time until we brought them out last year. So I mean, I, and we only well, we won one time. So I mean, everybody just looking forward to get back in those jerseys, man. We had we had a lot of fun in those jerseys last year. So we looking forward to doing the same thing this year. So how important is this game? Obviously, with conference play next week, just what's the importance of this, and, and what's you know the details are like? Uh, I mean, it's very important. We treat every game uh, important for real, especially for our goals. What we have set for for set for ourselves as a team. Uh, each game is important. So I mean, we just we going on treating it like another game that we have in front of us, another opponent that we have in front of us, and we just been preparing as such for real. So I mean, it's it's a uh, we're not treating it any bigger or lesser than what it is, for real. We're just treating it as a, another game coming up, another opponent that we have to take care of. Would you consider it, oh, go ahead. <laughs> would you consider it a, not a trap game per se, like kind of a revenge game, obviously what happened last year. You, would you consider it that way? Or, you know, it, like you said, it's just another opponent on your guys' schedule. Yeah, it's just another. I mean, we, we, we passed last year for real, so I mean, I wouldn't say it was a revenge game or anything. We just, I mean, like you said, like I said, we got goals for this year, so we just ready. We just gotta go ahead, get them out the way, and keep on going, pushing forward. Marvin, the quarterback here faces mobile. They do a lot of stuff in the run game. How are you guys preparing for that? And who's the scout team quarterback this week in practice? Uh, we still got the same uh, scout team quarterback. So yeah, so everything's been the same pretty much. But uh, really, just it been a big, big on like. Keeping contained, keeping your fit, staying, uh, keeping your leverage and all that. So it's like, you know, uh, like on the blitzes and everything, you, you don't really have a mobile quarterback. 
you, I mean, you're supposed to still have Katan, but you got to extra have good Katan because especially when he's able to get out quicker than most quarterbacks, you got to make sure you own little things like that. So it's really just keeping him contained for real and keeping him more so in the pocket.